What's up guys, 2016RT here. Finally got the last part of my uh, mod slash upgrade that I've been waiting to do. Appreciate you guys for uh, being patient. I know I've been talking about this for a while, but um, there was a couple of setbacks with um, parts not being available, things being on back order. But uh, finally got everything in, so I'm going to open up these boxes for you guys and show you what's in each of them so you can see what the upgrade slash mod is that I've been uh, planning on for all this time. So here we go. All right, box number one. Pretty sure you guys kind of already know what it is now. Uh, I'm excited though. I've been waiting on this for a while. So, out of box number one, we have front calibers. These are uh, powder coated. Seems to be my, my favorite thing now, getting things powder coated. <laughs> uh, so, powder coated front calibers for the RT. Man, these are really nice looking. Alright, let's see what's in the other boxes. Alright, box number two. Let's see what we got here. All right, trying to open boxes with one hand kind of sucks. I'm sure no, a lot of you know what I'm talking about. All right, so in box number two, we have nice ceramic brake pads, power stop. This is for the uh, front and back. And then sure you guys can guess what this one is. Okay, here we have These will be the rear calibers. Powder for the rear, of course. The RT. There's something a little bit different about this rear caliber than the ones that are currently on my car. And I'll explain that to you when I open up the next box and you'll have a better understanding of what's going on. All right. All right, our third and final box. You should have learned from the other box, and I'm not gonna be able to do this very well with one hand. All right, third and final box. I'm pretty sure you guys already knew what was in this box. Rear, rear. Should be another front. There we go. Check this out. Open it. Show you what's in it. All right. So here we go, guys. Brand new rotors. Cross drilled and slotted. And again, there's something a little different about this brake setup that I just showed you all. The calibers, 
brake pads, and these rotors. Uh, a lot of you probably have had the same issue. My RT kept having squeaky brakes. I even took it to the dealer. They charged me for changing the pads, turning the rotors and everything, and still had to squeak even after paying for that. It just drove me crazy. So I've been dealing with it for a while. You've probably heard it in some of my videos, hearing the brakes squeaking or whatnot. Um, and I've been lately experiencing like some brake fade. Um, so I ordered these items. Again, it took a while because I had to wait for some things that were on back order and some parts that um, had to be found or whatnot. But um, finally got everything in. I'm going to put everything in the description below, detailing where I got the items from. And um, I'll be setting up an appointment to get these installed as soon as possible because I've been waiting for a while and I'm just eager to get them on and see how they look, how they're going to look on the car. Uh, so So this kit is actually off the Charger Pursuit package. Um, I wanted to upgrade the brakes. I felt like the stock brakes were not good enough um, you know, for the RT. Didn't have enough stopping power. And again, I was sick of that squeak, screeching noise that I was getting. Um, and again, even after going to the dealer, getting genuine uh, Mopar brake pads, having the rotors turned, having the work done by the dealer. Um, still had this squealing noise after paying $400 still had the squealing noise and that was just for the front $400 just for the front still had the noise um, so I just decided um, instead of dealing with that um, let me see how I can upgrade the brakes saw a number of kits online um, definitely could not afford a Brembo kit um, uh, or a um, I think it's called wheel wool um, they were just really too pricey for me. So um, I started looking at some forms and then I, I ran across a form where a guy had ran across a form where a guy had um, upgraded his brake kit um, with the charge with the brakes from the Charger Pursuit package. And for those of you who don't know, the the only difference is um, in the rear, just to give you a little bit more bite, um, the rotors are larger. You get a larger rear, rear rotor, and like the uh, rear caliber, like I was saying, it's a little different bracket-wise to accommodate the larger rotor. Um, so I'm looking forward to see, number one, how well just these slotted and, and, and drilled rotors will help increase the stopping power the ceramic brake pads to cut down on the schooling and the um, brake dust. The brake dust is horrendous. And um, yeah, I want to see how that rear, if I can really feel a difference with the rear rotor being larger, uh, if I get better, better braking power. I mean, honestly, this can't be any worse than the system that I already have. I, I just can't imagine it not being an improvement. Uh, but if nothing else, it's a aesthetic improvement. Um, I'll have a little bit better, you know, look, I was looking at getting my current calibers painted red and we all know the paint looks good when you first do it, but after a while from the heat and all the brake dust and the car washes it starts to fade or it might chip when you go to get brakes, um, changed, um, you know, you see the, see the color differences or whatnot. So I just thought this was a better route, um, just to get them powder coated powder coated red instead of using paint. And um, I just thought these, these rotors were a no brainer. And um, I, I got them black instead of getting them red. I thought that would look better since my, my charger theme is, you know, mainly white, white and black with red accents. So I thought the black hub with the red caliber um, would, you know, go with my theme and, and, and give the car an overall um, more complete look. Um, I also, uh, this is a very small detail thing, also ordered, um, so I also ordered these little um, stickers to go on the calibers and um, just to kind of give it, I don't know, a better look. I thought it would look nice. 
No, the only question I kind of had was, do I go with the black on red or the white on red? I'm kind of leaning towards the white on red. Um, why don't you guys do me a favor and, uh, in the comment section below, let me know which color you think will look better. Either the black charger on the red or the white charger on the red. Keep in mind my car is white, but I do have the uh, red, white, and black theme going. So, uh, again, in the comment section below, guys, let me know what you think about um, this brake upgrade. I will put a link to where I got the rotors from. I'll also put it on Instagram. Um, this guy, this guy really, uh, man, he, uh, to me, he really went the extra mile. It took a while, um, and I, I don't blame him. It's no, no fault to him at all. You know, you can't help parts being out of stock and being on back order, but... To me, he went the extra mile to get me this item uh, after I paid for it. So um, I'm definitely going to put all his information in the description below. I'm going to also put it on Instagram. And if you guys are looking to do a brake upgrade on your car, please make sure you hit him up, support him. Um, again, great guy. All right, guys. So I got the uh, order the rotors from... Rotor Pros. Rotor Pros. And the gentleman's name is Rich. Hit him up, man. Trust me, you won't you won't be uh disappointed. Uh again, great guy. Uh I really think he uh went above and beyond to uh get me these items. Um so Rich from Rotor Pros got me, you know, the four rotors um slotted cross drilled and the rear caliber uh he got for me uh originally the kit's supposed to come with uh the rotors the the larger rotors for the police pursuit package uh the ceramic brake pads and a bracket for you to use on your current rear rotor to accommodate the larger rotor in the rear uh but uh, Rich had a hard time finding that rear bracket. Um, so that's why I say he really went above and beyond because he just went on and ordered an actual caliber for me that would have the bracket attached um, just so that he can fulfill the order. Now, he could have simply said, you know what, I can't find the bracket. I'm going to just go ahead and give you the money back for, for that portion of it. And, you know, here are the rotors. But, you know, he chose not to do that. And, again, he went above and beyond and actually – found the bracket by getting me a whole another caliber now i was going to order these calibers anyway but it just so happened and, and rich didn't know that and it just so happens you know he just again went above and beyond and did that so i'm really really uh grateful for him for doing that and that's why i want to make sure you guys uh you know if you're looking to do a break upgrade uh you know please hit him up reach out to him um again he's on instagram it's the same rotor rotor pros R O T O R P R O S. Yeah, so again, if you're looking to get some brakes, um, hit them up. And then for the front um, calibers, as you saw, I ordered from JEX. Um, which was also, they're both actually power stop uh, calibers. So the original manufacturer is, um, is power stop and power stop. So power stop takes um, OEM calibers completely, um, well, powder coats them and then completely rebuilds them. So everything, you know, on them is new. The seals, the bolts. You know, everything has been replaced. It's been completely rebuilt and powder coated. So, um, shout out to Power Stop for that. So, you're not getting some used, you know, um, hand me down part. Everything is completely rebuilt. And again, 
Everything's been powder coated for durability. Um, so they're made by Power Stop, and I got the front ones from JX. And they sent them pretty quick. So um, there you have it, guys. Uh, again, I'm going to schedule an appointment to get these things installed. I can't wait. Been waiting for a while. So I'll come back with another video um, for the install process. Uh, I'm either going to go with the dealer, who obviously is charging an arm and a leg to do the install, or I have another shop um, that I might go through. But um, we'll see. If I use the other shop, I'll be able to get you guys some footage of the install itself. Obviously, if I do it at the dealer, you know, it'd be drop off and I'll just show you the after, after, um, after the install, how it looks. Uh, so, again, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think about this upgrade, if you think it was a good idea or not. And, uh, again, let me know if I should use the red or, I'm sorry, let me know if I should use the black or the white um, charger stickers. All right, guys, 2016 RT out.